Strong reaction pouring in from both sides of the aisle as China's massive military drills lead to a tense naval standoff in the Taiwan Strait. Greg Palcott has more from London. In what's being called some of the largest military exercises seen in the Taiwan Strait, the Chinese military is sparking a dangerous standoff during a three-day drill called Joint Sword, which simulated a blockade of Taiwan, including dozens of ships and planes, some of which crossed the line of control into Taiwanese waters. The Chinese Foreign Ministry calls it a serious warning against, quote, collusion and provocation with the U.S. It's about Beijing wanting to signal its ongoing resolve to oppose Taiwanese activities that have the potential to undercut its authority over Taipei. The drills come less than a week after Taiwan's president met with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in the U.S. and just a few days after a bipartisan congressional delegation visited Taipei. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say they won't let China's military provocations intimidate them. It's coercion, it's bullying, it's designed to get us to back down, to collapse the will of the Taiwanese to resist. There are concerns it could be difficult for the U.S. military to defend Taiwan if China invades. More than a year of war in Ukraine has depleted Pentagon stockpiles. But folks in Taiwan say they believe if the mainland invades, America will step up. It has been like this for so many years. China has just been like that. We are nervous but not worried. What needs to be done should be done. China's Coast Guard also announced plans that would board and inspect all ships operating in the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan says it won't cooperate. In London, Greg Palcott, Fox News.